Hi, I'm Tracy Matthews. I am the liaison to the Business Advocacy Committee of the Campbell County Chamber of Commerce. And this morning I'm visiting with Cynthia Lummis, who's running for United States Senator. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning, Tracy. It's great to be with you. Thank you. So our first question for you this morning is what do you feel are the key responsibilities of this role? Well, first of all, thank you for allowing me to be on your program. Um, I believe that the most important responsibility for uh, Wyoming's U.S. Senator is to listen to the people in Wyoming, to communicate with them regularly, and to represent them in the United States Senate. You know, the Senate used to be uh, selected by the states, uh, and then uh, the Constitution was amended to make it by popular vote within the states. But that points out that the Founding Fathers wanted the states uh, to have an important role in selecting their representatives uh, to the United States Senate. And I want to be that kind of United States Senator. Uh, so it's important that we facilitate this great American comeback, uh, that we make sure that spending is under control, and that our energy resources continue to be first and foremost uh, for the people of the state of Wyoming. This is what's most important to me in this election, uh, and this is what I hope to emphasize uh, once I'm elected. Do you support a fourth round of stimulus coronavirus relief funding, and if so, in what form? Well, I'm aware that the coronavirus funding was absolutely essential. About $2.7 trillion uh, have been put into the economy so far to help small businesses and individuals uh, during this very difficult time. Uh, we do know now that uh, the U.S. Treasury uh, sent out checks to everyone who filed a tax return in 2019 uh, but failed to cross-reference the death records. So billions of dollars went to people uh, who filed tax returns in 2019 uh, who are deceased. Uh, and this is not a criticism of the speed in which they had to do it. Uh, it, it was essential that that money get out there. Uh, but mistakes happen when something is implemented that quickly. And these are one of the mistakes that was identified. So now that individuals and businesses uh, have received or are receiving those checks, I want to make sure that the money that we've already allocated to COVID-19 relief uh, is getting where it needs to be and is working within our economy. Uh, before we do any additional COVID stimulus spending. I would rather than take a wait and see attitude about whether uh, additional monies are needed um, and to see whether we begin to recover quickly enough from COVID that our economy can return to normal uh, and that people's lives uh, are not as affected in such a negative way as they were during these early months of the COVID crisis. Thank you. How are you going to address the national debt, and when is it going to become a concern? Oh, Tracy, it's already a concern. Uh, when I left Congress, uh, I went on the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget, which is a Washington, D.C.-based bipartisan group that's very concerned about our national debt and our deficit. And they put out fabulous reports uh, on the current status of our, our debt and deficit. The more I read, the more concerned I became. Uh, about uh, how serious the situation has come, become. It's, it's unsustainable. Uh, it's in a situation where our highway funds are going to be depleted by 2021. Uh, the uh, Social Security system uh, by about 2030 uh, and uh, Medicare even sooner. And so these are the things that are driving the concerns that I have. And these are the things that I uh, caused me to decide to run for the U.S. Senate. Uh, I want to work with my fellow senators to address these issues, uh, and including having a very serious amendment process on the floor of the U.S. Senate. That is not in existence now. We have to get this debt under control, uh, and uh, we're rapidly getting to the point where uh, we're spending more than 100% of GDP every year. That's just absolutely unsustainable. Finally, Cynthia, I want to give you a couple of minutes just to wrap up. And if there's something that I didn't ask you about that you want the voters to know about, please discuss. 
Well, thank you so much again. It's just really an honor to be with the Gillette Chamber of Commerce today. And I'd like to point out that I've been fortunate enough to be endorsed by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, uh, by Senators Mike Enzi and Barrasso, which is just positively delightful to me, and by more than 25 other U.S. Senators. So uh, the most important endorsement that I can get is uh, the people of Campbell County, the people of Wyoming, uh, with their vote on August 18th. Uh, but I do want you to know that I would get to take uh, my eight years of seniority that I earned in the United States House of Representatives with me to the United States Senate. So that would put me in a position of being a very senior freshman uh, member of the U.S. Senate uh, and get committee assignments that would allow me to be able to uh, address this unsustained debt and deficit and other issues that are really important to Wyoming. I would want to be advised by and consult with Senator Zenzi and Barrasso about those committees uh, which have the most effect and impact on Wyoming and make sure that I'm serving on those that Senator Barrasso is not serving on uh, so Wyoming is well represented by its team in the United States Senate. So thanks again for the opportunity to be with you today and I would appreciate your support on August 18th. Thank you.